Hello friends, welcome to Rigenics. Today we are going to discuss another structural pattern, the facade. I think facade is one of the most simplest design pattern. And at times, I doubt if we call this a pattern. But as it solves a very important common problem that every developer faces at some point of time, I guess why this is a design pattern. Before moving into the detail of this pattern, let's quickly see what we are going to build while learning this pattern. We are going to work on a login use case. It's a ASP.NET Core MVC application, but again, we will just be writing very few lines of code in ASP.NET Core, and I will ensure that if you wish to code along with me, then you should definitely be able to do so. So let's start with a quick definition. It is defined as it provides an unified and simplified interface in a subsystem. Therefore, it hides the complexities of the subsystem from the client. It means if you have a client, and a complex class, then facade provides a simplified interface to a complex set of classes. Now, instead of classes, it can be complex component or a group of component as well. Now, where do you think there will be a high possibility of using this pattern? Generally, in a very loosely coupled system, it is highly possible that you have a lot of components or classes and there could be a lot of interactions between them. Now, say to achieve a use case in such decoupled system, what do you think? What complexity the user of the system will have? I think it is highly possible that the client has to deal with multiple components, right? Perhaps has to really decide on the sequence of the calls. Also, maybe you as a component developer have to expose a lot of core functionalities to the client and also you enforce the client to know more low level details, which ideally should be encapsulated. Now, as a backend developer or a business layer developer, do you feel that you are increasing the complexity at the consumer's end? Definitely yes. Let's see this in code first and we'll come back to the solution using facade. Let's add a new solution folder. Let's name it as facade. Let me add our ASP.NET Core MVC application. Let's name it as login module. If you do not have any idea about ASP.NET Core MVC application, then just follow along. I will just write only a couple of additional code to the automatically generated code by scaffolding. I'll ensure that you can code the same as well. So you can see our default ASP.NET Core MVC application is created. Let's assume that this is a big enterprise application and this login UI module interacts with multiple components. Let's go ahead and create those multiple components that will be used by this module. First one is validation component. Let me delete this default class and create a I validation service interface. So I have added a method called is validated with a parameter username and password. Now let me add a class called validation service and implement this interface. Let's assume that we have a validation logic here. And for now, let's directly return true. As we assumed our login module interacts with multiple components, let's go ahead and create one more component authentication. Let's create an interface called iAuthentication Service. Now it has a method is authenticated, which takes two parameters, username and password, typically similar to validation service. Now let me add the authentication service class and implement this interface. Again, let's assume there is authentication logic. And for now it returns true. Similarly, let me quickly add one last component called authorization component. I authorization service. So we have created three component authentication, authorization and validation with which our login module interacts. Let's go ahead and quickly make changes to our view. 
let's delete few default text update this to let's learn facade pattern let's delete the default header let's run this and see so we get this let's go ahead and create our login form quickly now inside body let's put our content let me quickly code the HTML and come back. So this is HTML form tag, header login form, level for email ID text and a text box for email ID. And these are inside a div. Similarly, I have another level for password and password text box inside another div. Finally, a submit button. Before adding our styles, let me run it once and show it to you. So this is how it looks. Let me go ahead and add few CSS styles. Let's add a CSS file. Let's name it as login.css. Again, let me quickly code some CSS and come back. So we have whole page margin padding zero, couple of CSS for body, container, which is nothing but this one. This is for form tag. This is for the text boxes. Finally, the submit button. Let's link our CSS file to this page. That's it. Let's run it and see. See, our nice login page is ready. Now, what should happen when user clicks login button? As assumed, this module interacts with multiple component. So the UI developer should call all the necessary modules like validation, authentication, and authorization before deciding whether the user should be allowed to move to home page or not. So let's go ahead and implement this and try to understand if there is any problem and if a facade pattern can help to fix this. Let's go to our controller, add a HTTP post method to handle submit button click. Added parameter, email and password. Now let me add all the conditions to check if the user is valid to log in or not. Let me add references of all the dependent component. That's authentication, authorization and validation. If validation service dot is validated returns true, then go inside and check for authentication. And if the user is authenticated, then check for authorization. If the user is authorized, then redirect the user to home view. Let me rename the existing privacy view to home view. Also, let me add a message. So, do you see any problem here? I guess yes. You can see here. The presentation layer developer has to know a lot of complex things about the business. It has to deal with a lot of components, know the sequence of calling them. Also as a business layer developer, you have exposed lot many things to the upper layer, which is not at all a good coding practice. Let me run this. Let me put something as email ID and password. Okay, let's check the error. So instead of privacy, our action method name has to be home. Let's build this. Let's debug this. So it goes to each component and for now returns true. So pre-checks are successful and redirects to home page. So this works. But as mentioned, the solution puts lots of responsibility to the upper layer. So how can we make our component consumers life easy? 
Better solution is to implement a facade here. Client will only call the facade and facade takes the responsibility of dealing with all the complex subsystem. Let's refactor our code. Usually in an enterprise application, we used to have respective facade classes for each feature. So I would like to write my facade class in a separate class library. So let me create a class library called application facade. Let me create my facade class called login facade. Now it is always good to create a contract for the respective facade. So I would like to create an interface. But again, these contracts might grow and might had to refer to multiple components. So I would like to create this in a separate class library. So let's go ahead and create a separate class library for our contracts. Let's name it as contracts. Let's name the interface I login facade. Let's have a method called can login. Let's implement this in our login facade. Let me add contract DLL to our application facade. Let's implement our contract here. Let me add all our dependencies. And remove from login module. Now instead of login module, we have instantiated all our services here. Now let's update our can login method. So what we have done here, we are checking if is validated, is authenticated, and is authorized returns true, then can login method returns true, or else returns false. Now let's go to our UI layer and make few small changes. Let's relieve our UI developer with all these complex business checks. Let me add facade to our UI component. Let me inject iLogin facade in the constructor. Let me delete these namespaces. Let's modify our HTTP POST method. See, our client code has reduced drastically. Now we have just one method called can login. And if it returns true, then redirect the user to home page or else stay in the same page. Now with this pattern implementation, the advantage is that all the complex method calls and related code blocks are channelized through one single facade class. And with respect to client, there is only one single call. Even if we make changes to our subsystem components like validation or authentication, there will be no impact to the client call. Another benefit is definitely it makes your code more structured, hence more readable and easy to maintain as well. Let's make a final change. Register our facade to the ASP.NET Core dependency injection container. I just tell to the container when I ask for iLogin facade, give me login facade. That's it. Let's run this. So definitely the output will be same. Now only what is different is the internal implementation. Let me put some email ID and password and login. So login successful. That's it for facade. I hope you found this video helpful. If it did, then please hit the like and subscribe button and share this video with others to see more such contents. Thanks.